What is up, you guys? It's Bonnie Taylor here, and welcome back to Let's Catch a Vibe. Now, I hope everyone's feeling great, feeling amazing, feeling vibey. As you guys can see, tonight's item shop will be taking us from Tuesday, the 12th of September, into the early Wednesday morning of the 13th of September. So, as you guys can see, brand new this afternoon, we had the brand new Shoto Todoroki bundle. I want to shout out myself um, and self promo. I did get a 34 kill Vic Royale with the half cold style for Todoroki. It is up on my YouTube now, so please check that out. Uh, let me know what you guys think. The lobby was kind of like, I don't know, easy-ish, but I've been having those lobbies recently. Anyway, what we get into tonight in three, two, one, let's go! So anyway, as you guys can see in the featured store, we have the return of the Brat Bundle. Now, really, really cool. Uh, I have already covered it in its own is it, is it not worth it bundle video. I had to check then. I was like, have I covered this? And I was like, yeah, I have covered this. But anyway, really, really cool. It does actually come with a contrail, guys. You know, you know how long I've been stressing contrail to just be like things you can just buy rather than having them in um, bundles or just having them in the uh, the battle pass for that season. Anyway, really, really cool. Does come some cool, some cool alternate styles for the bat bling. Anyway, moving us on to the return of the Mecha Team Leader bundle. Really, really cool. You do get two emotes, so if you're for Team Mech or Team Monster, either if you were for Team Monster or Team Mech during the final showdown, now you can flex. But anyway, really, really cool. Just come with an alternate style for like an all metal version. Really, really cool. I have already covered this in its own Is It Isn't Not Worth It bundle video. So, moving us swiftly on to the return of the Dreamy Days bundle. Again, have already covered this in its own Is It Isn't Not Worth It bundle video. But when I say that, I'm not taking away from the fact that it's not good. I just mean that I've covered it quite a few times or I've spoken about it quite a few times in the item shop that I'm not really going to go around and cover it all because they are quite old. Anyway, if you want me to, let me know in the comments down below and I will do updated versions of those videos if you want. Anyway, moving us on to the styles from every season in Chapter 2. Woohoo! Man, oh man, you guys know Chapter 2 was my, was, my, was my good part, man. Anyway, as you guys can see, we do have five female skins and five male skins. Obviously, you can choose up to eight different styles um, because obviously there's eight chapters in chapter two. Anyway, moving us on to the signature, sorry, the season signature two back bling where we have holographics from every season from chapter two beginning to chapter two end. We also have the Red, returning Renegades bundle and the Island Explorers bundle. Again, I have covered these in their own Is It, is it Not Worth bundle videos. Moving us swiftly on to the daily store now. We've gone through the item shop quite quickly, but I will be covering the uh, My Hero Academia bundle in a second. So, we have the Swamp Knight Return. The Swamp's Vengeance Walks Among Us. First introduced in Chapter 4, Season 1. Yep, literally, this is literally just released. We don't know nothing about it or anything, but it's like a relic from Chapter 1, essentially. Anyway, really, really cool. Absolutely love this. There is like shield bat blings and stuff that have come out, so you could mix some kind of locker for it. Anyway, moving us on to the return of the legendary Dark Vanguard. Exploring the Outer Limits. Part of the Space Explorers set, first introduced in OG Season 2. We then move on to the back bling, which is the legendary Dark Void. Stella. Again, really, really cool. Moving us on to the return of the items in the daily store, we start ourselves off with the fork knife or knife fork, depending on which one you like. So anyway, we have the fork knife. Don't forget your table manners. We have two styles where we have the fork knife and then we have the knife fork. Again, just depends on your preference, really. Moving us on to the... Wow, we've literally almost got a full daily store of Icon Series emotes. That's pretty cool. Anyway, we have the first off the bat, which is the Survivor Salt. Been doing this. First introduced in Chapter 2, Season 6. We have the Forget Me Not Icon Series emote. Always unforgettable. First introduced in Chapter 3, Season 3. A lot of people love that one. That is one of my personal favourites for a long time. It has been. Anyway, moving us on to the Miracle Trick Shot. Defy Gravity at the Ball Game, first introduced in Chapter 3, Season 4. Now, I haven't watched all of My Hero Academia, but I think it would be really cool. Like, you know how Dragon, B, Dragon Ball Z had, like, a baseball thing? They'd be really cool if uh, My Hero had one. Anyway, really, really cool. Moving us on to the My Hero items. Now, I'm just going to go through these one by one. So, starting us off, we have my boy, Shodo Todoroki. 
So pretty much we have Shoto Todoroki. Isn't it a hero's job to save people? So we have two styles. We have the default. And then we have the alternate, which I have currently equipped, the half cold. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, a bit of self-promotion. I did get a Vic Royale with this style earlier. It is up on my YouTube. I got 34 kills. I was in a good lobby. I was in a very good lobby. You don't get those lobbies very often, especially if you play with like me and my friend where he's literally a builder. Some of my lobbies like sometimes are like very, very hectic or sweaty. Anyway, moving us to the back bling, we have the cold heat wings. Saw on wings of fire and ice. <laughs> oh man, absolutely beautiful. Moving us on to the harvesting tools, we have the cold hot hitters. Play it hot and cold. Again, very, very cool. Moving us on to the emotes, we have half cold, half hot. Stay cool and bring the heat. Jeez. Moving us on to the last two items, we have the cold burn flyer. Half cold, half hot, all aerial. Jeez. And then last but not least, we have a wrap. Not animated or reactive, but we do have the UA uniform wrap. If it lets me, there we are. As you guys can see, I can cycle through various different weapon models that you guys can see on screen here. Moving us on to the second bundle we had introduced this afternoon, we have Kurishima and Ashido. So, starting us off, we have Mina Ashido. Even if you feel frozen with fear, you fight through it. So as you guys can see, she does have two styles. So we've got the default Mina Ashido. Now, I am going to mention it because a lot of people mentioned it on my TikTok video. They have reduced Mina's boob size in this game, of course. It's Fortnite. They can't have her running around with giant bambas, but it is what it is. Anyway, moving us on to the second style, we have the Class 1A Concert. Again, very, very cool. Moving us on to the back bling, we have the Picky Pack. Acid-resistant acid kit bag fit for a hero. Again, very, very cool. Moving us on to the harvesting tool, we have the Acid Axe, a very melty slasher. Let's see that swing animation. Nice. Moving us on to the emote for this bundle, we have the Culture, Fe the Culture Festival Dance. A dance performed by the Class 1A at the Culture, Fe at the Culture Festival. Moving us on to the second scheme, we have Ichi... Ich well, oh, I can never pronounce it now when I'm when I'm on record. Ich, ich, Ichiro or Ch Ichiro Kish Kirishima. Again, I'll probably butcher that. Anyway, become a war that's indestructible. So as you guys can see, we have two styles. And I'm, I noticed this earlier because I haven't seen him for a while because I've only watched like season one of My Hero. I've watched like little bits here, there and some of the rest of the seasons. But anyway, he looks like a member of Team Rocket. Like some of the members from Team Rocket like look very jazzed up. But anyway, we have Ijiro Kirishima. Then we have the alternate style, which is the Red Riot Unbreakable. <laughs> oh boy, he's unbreakable. Moving us on to the back bling, we have the Red Riot Shield. Made for a hero who can protect. Again, awesome. Moving us on to the harvesting tools, we have the Red Riot Thrashers. Bulldoze your way through. Let's see that swing animation. Oh, <laughs> But anyway, guys, moving away from this, we have the bottom half of the item shot. We have the Cross the Spider-Verse bundle still with us. We then have the Goldbound bundle. We then have the Goldbound uh, emotes, harvest, and tools, and a glider. We then have the female Goldbound skins. And then last but not least, we have the special offers and bundles. But we have the return of the Double Agent pack and the Shadow Pickaxe pack. Now, yes, I know a lot of people are going to be very annoyed because these are separate, but... This isn't a new thing. These have been out for quite a while now. I do have a Vic Royale up on the channel with the double agent skin there uh, that I got recently. If you guys want me to do any videos covering any gameplay on these skins, please let me know in the comments down below. I will definitely do some videos on these. Even if I don't win, I'll show you guys what it looks like in game. Anyway, really, really cool. Again, I have covered these in, this in its own. Is always a worth it the video. But anyway, guys, that was the item shop for tonight for Tuesday the 12th, bringing us into early Wednesday morning of the 13th. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to smash the like button. If you didn't enjoy the video, let me know in the comments down below why you like the video. Also, let me know which is your favorite item and bundle from tonight's item shop and who is your favorite hero or villain of My Hero Academia. Now, 
you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and join Tim Let's Catch Your Vibe. Also, if you are new, please don't forget to switch on the bell notifications to get no funny streams to upload. But, more importantly, don't forget to stay with me and I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Peace!